In today's market update, we're going to be discussing the beautiful cycles that have been playing out in the markets that we track. It has been three weeks since my previous market update. I travelled to London last week, and so apologies for the voice. I came back, of course, with a cold. But in the three weeks since our previous market update, which was recorded on this day over here on the 9th of September, the cycles have been behaving extremely well and have been playing out according to Hearst's principles, as he discovered 50 years ago. So here is the S&P 500. This is SPX data. And in our previous market update, we were discussing the fact that the 40-day cycle trough was due to form. It turns out, of course, that that 40-day cycle trough occurred on the Friday before I recorded the previous market update video. Here is the stack of diamonds representing the position of the 40-day cycle trough. Why do I call this a beautiful cycle? For various reasons. First of all, we are seeing a very good M shape playing out over here. We have seen the first three legs of this M shape. The market might push a little bit higher, but of course the next leg that we are looking for is going to be the fourth leg of the M shape, where price moves down into this 80-day cycle trough, which as you can see is due in about the middle of October. That is one reason why this is, in my opinion, a beautiful cycle. Another reason is because the average number of days for a 40-day cycle, discovered by Hearst 50 years ago, is 34 days. This 40-day cycle trough occurred at 32 days. 34 days was, of course, on the Sunday. And so we have an exactly average length for that 40-day cycle. Because of the principle of variation, we know that these wavelengths are constantly varying. But when the markets are beating with an exactly average wavelength, that gives us greater confidence in the cycle analysis. When discussing the S&P 500 in the previous market update video, I displayed various FLDs and I pointed out that if you didn't want to wait until price crossed up above the 40-day or the 20-day FLD, we could look at the shorter FLDs. And here again, you see a perfect progression of price crossing through this series of FLDs from the 5-day to the 10-day to the 20-day and finally the 40-day FLD, thereby confirming that the 40-day cycle trough had formed. Looking at the interactions between price and the 20-day FLD, which is the FLD that we focus on mostly in these market updates because of the time frame that we are generally speaking about, we can identify the interactions. And in fact, I can give you a glimpse of the new feature that is coming to Sentient Trader, which is the automatic identification of these interactions. This is, of course, with the 20-day cycle FLD. We have the A, then B, C category interactions, the D category interaction as price comes down into the 40-day cycle trough, the E category interaction, and the next interaction that we are expecting is an F category interaction as price comes down into the 80-day cycle trough. So we are looking out for that. Notice this percentage figure over here, 83%. That means that the reliability of the identification of the sequence of interactions is sitting at 83%. That is another reason why this is a beautiful cycle. Finally, I displayed the composite model line, a very useful tool for visualizing the implications of the cycle analysis. And here you can see price has been tracking that composite model line really quite accurately. The next thing we are expecting, of course, is the move down into the 80-day cycle trough. Looking at the NASDAQ, we have exactly the same situation. You can see that the 40-week cycle trough, of course, formed at the beginning of August. I have influenced this analysis to position that 40-week cycle trough there. That is what that pin symbol means. But here is the 40-day cycle trough that formed that was discussed in the previous market update video recorded over here on the 9th of September. Again, we can look at our FLDs. There is the 20-day cycle FLD with the interactions identified and labeled by Sentient Trader, you will notice that the accuracy of those interactions is sitting at only 63.9%. That's this figure over here. That is lower than the S&P 500. As I pointed out in the previous market update video, we had a greater divergence in terms of the price interaction surrounding this 20 days cycle trough, where we basically didn't see any interaction at all. As a matter of interest, we can also identify the interactions between price and the 40-day cycle FLD. This also has a lower rating. 
because as you can see here is the A category interaction which did not quite reach its target. But most importantly, here is the B category interaction and then the C category interaction. Usually we identify these interactions as a pair and refer to them as the BC category interaction pair, which occurs of course at the time that the 40 day cycle trough should form following a 40 week cycle trough or a trough of at least 20 week magnitude in the market. The fact that these two interactions are separated, in other words, we had a price cross down below the FLD for the B category interaction, and then a price cross up above the FLD for the C category interaction, does not render the analysis or the sequence of interactions invalid, but it is slightly imperfect, if you like. It is not as beautiful a cycle as we have seen in the S&P 500. Finally, the composite model line is showing us what to expect next, which is that we are expecting price to come down into this 80-day cycle trough. The nest of lows for the 80-day cycle is slightly more messy in the Nasdaq, but as you can see it is expected in about the middle of October. I've been enjoying taking a look at the Australian stock market in recent market updates and we have many Hearst Cycles enthusiasts in Australia. In our previous market update I discussed the possibility that this trough over here on the 5th of August or in fact I think in the Australian market it was on the 6th of August was a 40 week cycle trough in the previous market update that was still showing as a circle and whiskers. I discussed my reasons for leaving it as a circle and whiskers but price action has demonstrated quite clearly that this is the correct position for the 40 week cycle trough. You can see that I've had to influence this analysis, that is this pin symbol over here. Let me just take a moment to explain why that is. If we zoom out to the previous 18 month cycle trough at the end of October in 2023 and measure the number of days up to this 40 week cycle trough, you will see there were 281. The average length of a 40 week cycle discovered by Hearst 50 years ago was 272 days. So that 40 week cycle trough was only nine days late. Not bad for a 40 week cycle. But why did I need to influence the analysis that Sentient Trader has performed? The reason for that is because of this fairly obvious and prominent 20 week cycle trough that formed over here in April. That gives us only 109 days leading into this 40 week cycle trough for the next 20 week cycle trough. That causes a slight imbalance in the analysis. It is not impossible, but the difficulty in terms of performing this analysis comes in this period of time over here where we had a consolidation a wedge formation or a type of triangle that seemed to form during this period of time here. That always complicates things when you're performing a cycle analysis. However, according to the principle of commonality, which is one of Hearst's principles, we know that big cycle troughs tend to occur at the same time in various markets around the world. And so it is very likely that this is the correct position for the 40 week cycle trough. I pointed out in the previous market update video that the way that we would be able to tell whether this was in fact the 40 week cycle trough which we were thinking was likely was whether the 40 day cycle FLD provided support to price at the time that the 40 day cycle trough formed. Now of course I was discussing the fact that the 40 day cycle trough should form soon on this day over here on the 9th of September. If we look at the price action now and how price reacted to the 40 day cycle FLD, you can see that that FLD provided approximate support. It is not perfect, but it is fairly clear that something was providing support to price during this week long period over here. And that 40 day FLD is right there throughout the week, providing approximate support to price. As soon as we saw that happening, we were able to confirm the fact that this was the 40 week cycle trough. What are we expecting next for the Australian stock market? As is the case with the other markets we have looked at so far today, we are expecting price to come down into an 80 day cycle trough over here in about the middle of October. But given that this is a 40 week cycle trough over here, the drop down into the 80 day cycle trough might not be as dramatic as one might expect. 
And if we display the 80-day cycle FLD, there it is. The 80-day cycle FLD is a likely area in which price could find support as the 80-day cycle trough forms. So we need to keep an eye on that 80-day cycle FLD. We've also been taking a look at the Nifty 50 in recent market updates. The Nifty 50 is often a difficult market to analyze, but as I have discussed in recent market updates, it is clear that a 40-week cycle trough also formed in the Nifty 50 in the beginning of August, at the same time that that 40-week cycle trough formed in other stock markets. In our previous market update, which I recorded on this day over here, I again discussed the fact that a 40-day cycle trough was due to form and as it happened that 40-day cycle trough formed on that very day. I again measured the number of bars. Of course we expect the 40-day cycle trough to form at 34 days after the 40-week cycle trough and in the Nifty 50 it formed at 35 days. I am displaying both the 20-day FLD and the 40-day FLD on this chart. And if we consider the interactions which here I am displaying, you will notice the very low rating, 58%, much lower than we have seen on other charts today, indicating that the sequence of interactions is not nearly as ideal as in some of the other markets. But it is nevertheless fairly clear. The identification of the 20-day cycle trough over here in the third week of August was pretty much impossible. Certainly the market didn't come down very much into that 20-day cycle trough. That occasionally happens. And here our D category interaction where price crossed below the 20-day FLD on its way down to the 40-day cycle trough clearly failed to reach its target which would have been down at about this level over here. When a price move fails to reach its target it does not indicate a failure of the underlying system. It instead indicates underlying bullishness or sometimes bearishness, but in this case bullishness in the market, indicating that the market was more bullish than might have been expected in an entirely balanced market. Of course, we would expect bullishness because of the fact that this was a 40-week cycle trough. And following a 40-week cycle trough, the move down into the first 40-day cycle trough might not be as dramatic as in other situations, moving down into the same magnitude cycle trough. What are we expecting here? Again, in the Nifty 50, we are expecting price to cross down below the 20-day FLD in an F category interaction on its way down to the 80-day cycle trough expected about the middle or perhaps third week of October. Gold has also been demonstrating some very good cycle shapes, although because of the fact that an 18-month cycle trough very probably occurred at the end of June this year, these cycle shapes have been stretched to the upside. They have been very bullish cycle shapes, but nevertheless good clean cycles. In our previous market update, which I recorded on the 9th of September over here, I pointed out the fact that an 80-day cycle trough was due in the markets. As it turned out, that 80-day cycle trough had occurred just a few days earlier over here. You can see the stack of diamonds representing the 80-day cycle trough over there on the 4th of September. And so what are we expecting next for gold? If we zoom in, the next thing that is expected to happen in gold is a 40-day cycle trough. Expected over here, you can see round about the 8th of October. 34 days is of course the average length of a 40-day cycle and that brings us to exactly the 8th of October. Under normal balanced market conditions, we would expect price to cross down below the 20-day FLD on its way down to the 40-day cycle trough. However, this has not been a balanced market, as I've just pointed out. This has been a very bullish market because of that 18-month cycle trough, and there is no sign yet that the bull is beginning to wane. And so price might not even cross down below the 20-day FLD strongly. We need to be on the lookout for this 40-day cycle trough expected early next week. Bitcoin has also been behaving with a perfect Hearst Cycles rhythm. In the previous market update, which I recorded, of course, on the 9th of September, that was on this bar over here, 
I highlighted the nest of lows for the 80-day cycle trough. Here you can see that the 80-day cycle trough has now been confirmed as having formed in the week just before I recorded that market update. I also pointed out that we would be able to confirm that the 80-day cycle trough had formed when price interacted with the 20-day FLD, which was of course expected to be an A category interaction. Here is that perfect A category interaction as price crossed up above the 20-day FLD and generated a target to the upside. That target, as you can see, has been achieved. We were expecting a 20-day cycle trough to form in Bitcoin. It is very likely that that 20-day cycle trough formed somewhere over here. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. The average length of a 20-day cycle, discovered 50 years ago, is 17 days. That would have positioned this trough over here on the 23rd of September. The cycles have been running ever so slightly long in this analysis, as you can see, and this nest of lows was highlighting this period of time just two or three days later, about the middle of last week. It is very likely, as I've already mentioned, that that 20-day cycle trough occurred somewhere over here. Notice how usually we would expect the 20-day cycle trough to be a time at which price finds support at the level of the 20-day cycle FLD. There is the level of that FLD, and as you can see, price found support quite a distance above that FLD. Again, that is an indication of bullishness in this market. And so Bitcoin is still bullish, considering the magnitude of this cycle trough that formed at the beginning of September, and the trough that formed 80 days before that, which we have tagged as a fairly large cycle trough of potentially up to 18-month magnitude. I won't repeat the discussion around shifting that bigger magnitude cycle trough over here, but we need to bear in mind that it is possible that this trough that formed here is of greater than 80-day magnitude. Certainly, this bullish gap between the FLD and the 20-day cycle trough in price indicates that the bullishness is certainly strong in this market. What we are expecting next, of course, is for price to cross down below the 20-day FLD in a D category interaction to bring us down into the 40-day cycle trough, which is also expected in about the middle of October. I do hope you found this market update useful and interesting. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below the video or join us on our Host Cycles Discord server. I look forward to hearing from you.